Hey, what's up, y'all? So welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for weekly automotive mechanical content for the average shade tree mechanic. All right, so after throwing on new tires, new wheels, they're heavier, um, I would like to get the most amount of life out of them. Uh, tires, not cheap. All right, and if you want to actually protect your investment as much as you can, um, if you have not seen my ceramic coating wheels video, I'll go ahead and post a link in the top right of the video. Check that out. Uh, but if you're trying to protect your investment tire wise, it's uh, one thing that you want to keep in mind is um, ensuring that while you're driving, you're getting the most out of your tire. All right. So it's it's hitting up um, the majority of the tire. All right. It's going to tough. It's going to be tough uh, to ensure that the entire, uh, I guess, footprint of the tire is hitting the entire ground uh, each revolution all right and so one thing i looked up is the chalk test all right so for my truck it's 60 up in the front 80 for the rear i already kind of cheated and did some of it um, my fronts are at 60 still and my rears are at 60 so you want to make sure you do this chalk test while it's unloaded okay and this is important what the chalk test does is help you visualize how much of the uh, the footprint of the tires hitting the ground each time or every time you get into the into the driver's seat and take off prerequisites you want to make sure that the tires are warm all right because as we know uh, with heat comes at the expansion of a uh, tire pressure all right so you want to make sure your tires are warm because most of the time you're going to drive your tires are going to heat up so that's where you want your tires to actually test at wow. you also want to make sure that the tire or the the truck is unloaded okay um, and other than that you want to make sure that you have you know about a hundred feet worth of driving distance I'm actually doing this in my driveway I don't have a hundred feet worth of driving distance but if I go straight out straight back there's my hundred feet it's actually a little a little more than that um, but that this is all you need if you find an open uh, parking lot that's cool too all right so what uh what you need a 12 24 something like this find this at your local store all right so let's get started so here's my driveway if i go straight up straight back i'll be good to go what you're going to do is actually take your marker and just glide it across the entire tread Make path sure especially the outsides are a more of a darker tint so that you can get an accurate picture of how much tread is actually hitting the ground okay so that's good right there that's good kind of darken that up there we go I'm actually going to do this one too. Move to the back, you want to do the exact same thing, okay? So you just make sure you got at least uh, four inches wide and then the entire length of the tire. All right, so here's the back. I got about a good four inches wide. But you're going to go ahead and do this on all four of your tires. All right, so now I'm just going to end up driving straight forward all the way I can up to the driveway. I don't want to make any turns, right, because that would kind of kind of skew the test. It goes straight out, straight back to exactly where the truck is now. I'm just gonna leave the truck on because I'm gonna keep doing this test until I get I find the right tire pressure the reason why you want to start with the tire pressure uh, as high as possible is so that you won't have to actually fill your tires with tire pressure it'll be to the point where you're actually releasing tire pressure um, instead of filling it up all right I'm actually using one of these digital uh, PSI monitors but let's go ahead and check out the tires to see how much I really got so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and speak up because it's a little loud as you can see it's a little darker off to the edge but that's pretty much a good footprint of the entire tire in the ground each revolution it's really even with the yellow tint uh, the entire tread length of the tire up until the last uh, few millimeters so I'm actually happy of what PSI the front tires are at 
Now for the rears, you can obviously see that uh, the middle is getting a little beat up. And that's, this means uh, that the, this tire really has too much pressure of what the truck actually needs right now. Um, we got about a good full inch on each side of the tires. This definitely means uh, that I'm gonna have to release tire pressure. Like I mentioned earlier, it's about 62. The front are at 60. Uh, and so I'm actually gonna go ahead and decrease it by five PSI uh, to 55 and then go ahead and do the test again to see where I'm at as far as how much uh, tire tread is leaving the footprint on the ground each revolution. All right, y'all, so round two, I'm gonna go ahead and chalk it up one more time, and then I dropped it down to 55 PSI, PSI hot for the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and chalk it up again, drive up, drive back down. So round two. No change really in the front. I really like how the, uh, the footprint is for the front wheel. So I may just leave it at 60 PSI warm. Now for the rear. It's still looking like the middle is taking more so the beating. Or in the edges uh, can really go down significantly, significantly lower. It's definitely darker. But it's it's winding down so I may just drop in another 5 psi and call it a day on this side very similar to the right side um, so yeah I think I'm just gonna drop it 5 psi and then give it another try This is round three, four, anyways, I forgot. Uh, middle's looking pretty good still, and I'm dialing it in towards the edges. Uh, it looks like I have maybe about half an inch instead of an entire inch. Let's go check out the other side. This side looks very similar towards the end. Uh, probably got three fourths of an inch over here on this edge. So this tire pressure is at 50 psi. Let me go down to 40, 45 and see how I like that. All right, so for those that are wondering, the width that the tire really sticks out is no more than about really half an inch of tread outside of the fender wall. Maybe max one inch. It's really hard to really dial it in, uh, but just so y'all are wondering, probably factory fender flares would cover the entire, um, I guess the rest of what the tire's really sticking out of the fender wall. I'm actually, I like the look of, uh, of it with no fenders. I may go fenders in the future, but just so if y'all are wondering, that's how much distance. All right, y'all, so I think this is round five. Anyways, I think I'm gonna, I, I like this pressure. There's really only maybe half an inch towards the edges. All right, metal still looks pretty good. Let's check out the other side. Middle looks good and the edge is about, yeah, still about half an inch. It's starting to, to dive in there. I think I'm happy with this, 45 uh, PSI. All right, so hopefully y'all understood the entire chalk test. It's a very simple process. Uh, it took me less than 30 minutes, but if you really care about your tire life, um, go ahead and just do this cheap test. The chalk was like 250. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you do this test too, or if you have a different other process that you usually go through, uh, maybe something similar. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Also, let me know. Until next time, ciao.